Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban has arrived in Moscow for discussions with Russian President Vladimir Putin, marking a rare visit to Russia by a European leader since the country invaded Ukraine over two years ago, as confirmed by Orban's press chief on July 5th. I understand that this time you have arrived not only as our longtime partner, but also as the country presiding over the European Council. I hope we will have the opportunity to exchange views on building bilateral relations in this difficult situation. And of course, talk about the prospects for the development of the largest European crisis, I mean in the Ukrainian direction. Orban's visit follows an unannounced trip to Ukraine earlier in the week, where he met with President Volodymyr Zelensky and suggested Ukraine consider an immediate ceasefire with Russia. Orban, known for his warm relations with Putin among European Union leaders, has often obstructed or diluted EU measures to support Ukraine and impose sanctions on Russia for its war. The Hungarian leader, whose country is currently holding EU Parliament's presidency, noted that the number of countries capable of communicating with both warring sides is decreasing, suggesting that Hungary is becoming the only European country able to speak to all parties involved. Mr. President, I must conclude that the number of countries that can talk to both warring sides is diminishing. Hungary is slowly becoming the only country in Europe that can speak to everyone. I would like to use this situation to speak with you about important issues, and I would like to get to know your perspective on some issues that are important for Europe. In an email, Orbán's press chief, Bertalan Havasi, described the trip as part of the Hungarian leader's peace mission, emphasizing the peacemaker image Orbán has cultivated since Russia's full-scale invasion in February 2022. Hungarian Foreign Minister Peter Sijarto also accompanied Orbán to Moscow, as noted in a Facebook post. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov confirmed to Russian state TV that Ukraine would be a topic of discussion between Orban and Putin. EU officials have criticized Orban for his meeting with Putin, a move made by only one other European leader since the invasion began. Putin welcomed Orban to Moscow to discuss peace proposals for Ukraine. Orban's visit to Moscow occurred shortly after his unannounced trip to Ukraine where he met with Zelensky and proposed an immediate ceasefire. Putin also reiterated that You came here to discuss all the nuances of the situation that has developed in the Kyiv direction, in the Ukrainian direction. I'm at your disposal. You probably know about my speech to the leadership of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs quite recently in Moscow. It set out our positions regarding a possible peaceful settlement. During the meeting, Putin suggested that Orban might be representing the European Council, despite several European officials condemning the visit. Zelensky, after meeting Orban, remarked on a significant shift in Ukraine-Hungary relations. He emphasized the extensive discussions about achieving a just, lasting and honest peace, mentioning agreements on various economic and political details. In general, we see that this is a completely different relationship between Ukraine and Hungary, concrete, and we take into account mutual interests. We agreed on various details, economic and political, to be addressed by our teams. And a very important thing is that we will outline our relations, our achievements in a new document, an agreement that will define good neighborliness for Ukraine and Hungary. Orban, seen as having the warmest relations with Putin among EU leaders, has frequently blocked or diluted EU measures to support Ukraine and sanction Moscow, causing frustration among other EU leaders. It is important that we Hungarians remind ourselves that the presidency of the European Union, which in Brussels is called the rotating presidency because the mandate is held for half a year, does not entitle us to negotiate on behalf of anyone. So even though what I'm doing seems like a negotiation format because we sit behind a table and discuss issues, we don't negotiate. Therefore, I do not need a mandate because I do not represent anything. The only thing I do is go to those places 
where there is a war or the threat of war that has negative consequences for Europe and Hungary as well. And I clarify the facts, I ask questions. For example, I ask President Zelensky three or four important questions about what he thinks so that we can understand his intentions, where is the red line, the borderline, as far as he can go for peace. However, following the talks in Kyiv, Orban indicated a willingness to improve bilateral relations, stating that it was time for such an official visit. He expressed a desire to move past previous disputes and focus on improving future relations between Hungary and Ukraine. <laughs>